Hello, I'm here with Kilohertz for the League I match between Aglet and Dr. Kayla. What's going on, Monster? It's good. It's good. All right. Let's see, everyone's here. Okay. Okay, well, we have a board here. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck on connecting on Spinny Castle. Oh no! All right, so we have barge, embassy, library, wharf, expands, lighthouse, page, apothecary, bureaucrat, talisman, with that... way of the monkey and scouting party. Ooh, that sure is a bunch of draw cards. A bunch of draw cards and page lines. Yep. So. And bureaucrats here. <laughs> <laughs> Bureaucrat. Uh, did you get into the game? Yep, I'm here. I'm here. All right, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, this is an interesting kingdom. So there's plenty of draw, but as far as villages go, it's just champion. Yep. All right. Warp looks super important as usual, but Warp there is some. It's a good is... card. It's such a good card. <laughs> but Barge does have the advantage that you can just play it in duration mode and never accidentally draw things dead. Yeah, that's that's a good, an advantage of it. I mean, after champion, you will never draw anything dead. Right, but the question is how do you get to champion as fast as possible? And I think Barge is the answer to that. Oh, is it? I think so. I think, yeah, because Barge, you can always play it in duration mode, and then you can get to your traveler's... Um, as fast as possible. Oh wow, Page Barge looks really good for Ooh. Agla. Oh, that's that's juicy. All right. I wonder if they see it. Wharf also acceptable, but this is the nightmare shuffle oh, no. right here, where you have to play this wharf <laughs> blind. Now it's not as bad as it would be because you have so few cards that if yeah. your page misses, you it's still have not... wharf coming in next turn. And so you have a decent chance of drawing around to it, but it's not good if you draw a warp dead. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. Oh, bureaucrat. Don't like That's that. That's confusing. Oh, wow. All Bureau right, Aglet with some very good luck <laughs> Ooh, there. Another five. So here, I think you buy a barge. Um, yeah. It also be like two pages if you want to like start trying to get warrior attacky. I actually think I... double page could be good, yeah. The problem is the treasure hunters are going to clog up your deck with silver. Cause and this is a platinum No, no thinning. Game. Yeah, no thinning except for expand. Um, They only played two money, so I think they have a lot of treasures yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, no biggie. Happens. Auto buy. Yep. So one thing I was considering is on 3-4 opening page potion because apothecary gets you through your deck pretty quickly there's no thinning coppers and it's not like getting the barges or wharfs early are going to super do that for you Yeah. Uh, just because you have to play them well barges you can make sure you don't play dead I mean, but... after champion then you're just going through your whole deck super fast every turn yeah i mean it wouldn't be apothecary based draw forever you still want to transition more into having yeah. some work but apothecary and... it takes all the shuffles to like get the potion get the apothecary yeah that's why you kind of want to open it if you're going for it open potion yeah and i think you just go barges and then we get to champion certainly if you can hit five consistently adding you know two barges probably um and playing them in duration you could probably have three early on because you're always playing them in duration modes so they're not that yeah. likely to glide yeah because you know you're drawing your hand then okay page and a scouting party scouting party looks good there when you only have six cards left in the shuffle um because now you're gonna draw one card with okay no not like that so now this next page is gonna miss the shuffle well, lighthouse. Wait, where'd the? No. Yeah, they bought a lighthouse. So lighthouse is like a good card when you're looking for it to like balance money a little bit because it provides like a silver that's sort of smeared out over two turns. Or when there's 
like heavy attacks on the board and you want to not be affected by them. Yep, but champion is a great way to not be affected by attacks, of which all you have to worry about here is bureaucrat, which and, is not much of an attack. Yeah, Dr. Kayla, the only... Okay, they got a page, but they've got warriors, though. The warrior attack yeah. can be... Blocking warrior bad, attack but... can be useful. Yeah, but I don't like, like the lighthouse. So Especially... the reason I think it's a problem is that um, this is a colony game, and so one money a turn is not much. Just like how silver... Ooh, I don't think I want to trigger that shuffle. Because um, now two travelers are missing. Yeah. Although you are getting a wharf in play, so it does kind yeah, of balance out. Your next... Um, your warrior is going to be missing. Yeah. But you've got a wharf. So you're drawing through list of shells. It's only one extra turn. Yeah, it's that could just be a lot in the game of who yeah. gets champion first. Yeah, because as soon as you get to champion, that's you know drawing deck, and that's if you have extra oh. warriors attacking more. Yeah. Also, platinum so makes guy... platinum makes hero actually pretty... a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I definitely like having some heroes here. Um. But this is just too many pages in lighthouses. Like at this point, you're just clogging up your yeah, deck. Yeah, I don't like lighthouse especially because it's a stop card. Yeah, it doesn't help you to keep drawing. There aren't scary attacks here, and you don't need the money spread out because you're eventually going to be getting into a state where you're playing like five wharfs and barges a turn, and drawing your whole deck. Yep. As for money itself, you have a couple. Treasure silvers. hunters will give you some passive income. Oh, clever. Um, use of the way to not gain yeah, a silver. I like that. I like that a lot. That's probably something we should have been talking about, but I would definitely have considered that um, you should be doing that a lot more often than you would think. So here, no, you want to keep that page. You don't want to toss your pages. No, uh, page, page would make the warrior so much better. I mean, the treasure hunter still is going to make the warrior nice, but yeah, hitting three cards instead of two is, you That's know, That's huge. Fifty percent improvement. That's huge, and also, you know, the page will replace itself in your hand anyway. Yeah, it's not a stop card. Very few reasons to toss a page. I mean, order here doesn't matter as long as lighthouses last. There's no decisions to be made. I mean, warriors last. Wow. What? Why wouldn't what? you play that lighthouse? You don't there's, you want it out of the shuffle. There's no attack to worry about. There's no detrimental effect to playing your lighthouse. Why are you turn. scouting partying? No, now your warrior misses the shuffle. I mean, your hero misses the shuffle. Ah. All right, do you want to talk a little bit about like shuffle scouting? management? Yeah, and scouting party. Yeah, shuffle management's really tricky. And you know, this is Lee guys, so I don't think that they're thinking specifically about shuffle management as a thing. Yeah, do you want to explain a bit about what that is? And Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, when you play cards, they go into the discard in this game, and you don't get to see them again until you shuffle your deck. So when you have, like, five cards left on top of your deck, for instance, um, and you had played a warrior this turn, if you don't, uh, you're safe to scouting party because you're only looking at five cards. The warrior goes into your discard, and it's all fine. But if you have less than five cards when you're draw when you do a scouting party uh then you're going to trigger a shuffle to get up to five cards and that means that your warrior when it goes into the discard is now sitting out a whole nother shuffle before you get to play the next traveler up the line yes yeah, so the travelers miss the shuffle and it slows you down a lot and it doesn't have to be travelers it could just be like this turn i bought a wharf like if i trigger a scouting party um at a bad time the, or I played a card that's you know leaving, uh, leaving play like a duration. Yeah, leaving play. Yeah, exactly like a duration. It's like the caravan problem, or yeah, you know, any durations that yeah. are leaving play the turn you shuffle. You don't. Get I mean, to it, see it, them. Can, it can be even simpler. It could just be like I I had a market and I want to see it again soon, so I don't want to use. I don't want to draw into a new shuffle and have all the cards I played. Yeah, this you turn want to shuffle. discard all your good cards before you shuffle. Because if you shuffle and then all your good cards go into the discard, you're not going to see them for a while. Yep. 
So you need to be careful about triggering bad shuffles. Okay, we got a treasure hunter trash in there. Nice, oh, good warrior hit. Yep. Oh, we see an expand. Uh, multiple expands. Yeah, they've both bought expand now. Okay. I mean, what are we expanding? I mean, expand seems really good because you can Copper just turn all page. your random sil- No, you have uh, so many silvers. Oh, silvers. You have tons of silvers. I mean, if you've but... not been monkeying. Yeah. Uh, so you can turn those into wharfs. Okay, yeah, actually, Silver to Warp is a strong expand, yeah. Hey, it's just more gains. There's plenty of gain and play you can do with it, like in the late game. Um, yep, definitely. You should and be deck. Even if you, uh, if you keep, like, a hero and, like... So you here you play cool. both lighthouses and you play the hero. Um, Again, you want to play and don't scouting party because then your champion will miss the shuffle. And we scouting oh, party. Oh, no. So now instead of champion having been shuffled into that deck, you have to draw through 16 cards, 18 cards, or slightly less since you're scouting again. You have to draw through all these cards before you can find champion. Aglet, That's bad. Aglet seems to be a big fan of the scouting party. I mean, scouting party is good, but here it's actively harmful. And also, you really want to be adding more wharfs and barges. Um, yeah. Like... I feel like they're like trying to set up like the next turn, but in that trying to set up the next turn, they're hurting their like shuffles. Yeah. And yeah, they definitely champion like your wharfs collided. Yeah, and here okay. just buy more wharfs. More wharf. Right, we're trying to find champion. No, you're scouting too much. No, <laughs> just five scouting parties. I mean, that will find champion <laughs> in a weird way. Um, well, it at least gets a lot of cards out of their deck until they find champion. And there it oh, is. There it is. So keep champion warrior, probably. Yeah, okay, champion warp is good too. I like attacking <laughs> while they still don't have their champion up. True, true. Probably a little bit too much. Wait, how did they not. Okay, I guess they still have another treasure hunter. Okay, trashing a wharf into something seems bad. Wharfs are about oh, to run. Draw is great. And... Draw, wharf is like one of the best cards in the game. Could just be better <laughs> than expand even at like 7. Yeah, ex like expand is good. Like you can expand cards, but you want to expand to wharfs, not from wharfs. Yeah. Unless it's the end game and you need to turn wharfs okay, into provinces yay, or something. Okay, wharf. Yeah, that's a good decision. So yeah, Aglet now ahead um has their champion down has more wharfs they should be able to start drawing pretty nicely right now yeah and again you don't ha th there's something Expands we've been talking are... about yeah i call shiny money syndrome which is that you feel like you have to spend all your money oh, okay let's yeah. see no trash is on either one of those that's yeah like i have all this money let you know, trash it doesn't matter. Yeah, that. so like I have seven money, I need to buy an expand. Whereas like winning the wharf split seems way more useful to me than adding an expand. Yeah, so because Doctor Kayla seems to be expands are stop cards. Seems to be getting way too many expands. Like expands at four. Is I not just bought another expand as well. Wharfs are way more important because you want to get deck control. Because if you don't have deck control, then your expands aren't going to be doing much helpful stuff for you yeah so deck control is the idea that from any given hand unless it's just a total dud but from most of the hands that you get you should be able to draw your whole deck and a deck full of warps with champion out can definitely do that you also have warriors which are great here um also i really like playing that treasure hunter as monkey yep. so that we don't gain no ourselves. extra silvers so this okay. needs to be both the warps no okay. no early the, colony uh, yeah, so That's you can still build a decent early. amount more. There's no pile pressure yet. Um, you can definitely build more. Uh, yeah, I want more they... wharfs. I want uh, some barges, probably. Yep, they, they spent all 13 money. But, like, again, I think I'd want, you know, wharf, wharf, then, you know. Maybe uh, another page. Yeah, wharf, wharf, page instead of colony. Because here you could easily build to double colony. If yeah, not, let's see what got trash. Trash is silver. We're just trashing silvers. No, yep. these guys aren't really hitting. 
So here, this is a state to wharf. Yep, nice. And then a state to barge. Why would you trash a lighthouse when you have estates? Well, points. So My buy more draw points. here rather than just buying platinum. Okay, cool. We are buying more draw. I like that. And a ton of pages, apparently. Yeah, I mean, with Monkey, it's yeah. not that bad because they only have one non-drawing form in Treasure Hunter. Yep. And then you either can set them up warriors or heroes. And heroes can gain you plats. So yeah, I don't they, think I want they... a number of heroes. One hero yeah, just feels one. like enough. But... Some warriors are fine. Okay, it's uh, way... We just turned a wharf into a province. That is actively making your deck significantly worse. Yeah, they're greening way too early. Even though it's turn 17, and in a lot of games would usually be greening by now, it's still way too early here. Yeah. Like, we Can haven't seen a drawn deck. You about the board. We haven't seen a drawn deck. Yep. So he he trashes Paying the silver. Warrior first? Was that warrior before page? Trashes page the silver. Uh, I'm not sure. They're playing very fast. Trashes more silver. So there's got to be a lot of silvers in the trash by now. A whopping eight there, silvers yep. in the trash. But this is deck control. We're finally drawing our deck. All right. So here we can gain and play a barge. Expand an estate to a barge. Actually gain and play two. But why are we trashing our lighthouses <laughs> before our estates? They're still worth the money, but they're better we're, than copper. We're lighthouses like, just to like... Why, wait, what? We can gain and play those barges. Uh, are you stopping? Confusing. Then, okay, are they going to buy two plats? Two platina. But like, what reason would you not play that expand? But the precious points... Why are we buying more pages? Are we aiming points. to pile out on pages and estates or something? Pages and expand? Treasure yeah. hunters... Okay, well that... This is a confusing under... game There's stage. zero warriors left, so you're now stuck with all those treasure hunters for This is a really confusing, game. confusing game stage. This is a bizarre stage. game, for sure. Um, But yeah, something to watch out for is there's only five copies of each of the travelers, uh, other than Paige, where there are obviously ten. So right now, taking all those treasure hunters means that you cannot exchange them for warriors. You're stuck with treasure hunters uh, until... Now, maybe that's what they wanted to generate just a delve of payload. Buying a silver. Um, silver seems unfortunate to me. It's not a silver, card I want in my deck here. Silver is a bad card on a board like this. Like, wow, these warriors would be doing work if... Uh, yeah, if, if Dr. Champion Kayla's was champion enough. was enough. They have all five <laughs> warriors. Oh my god. Those are just labs. Yeah, That's Kayla. pretty real estate. <laughs> so play your wharfs before are, your barges. That are you those? Here. Please wait and please gain and play some stuff off those estates. Uh, uh, the estates no. are doing... The estates are harming your deck. They could be much better cards. Uh, in, before, a, in before five heroes. Do they have a win here? How much um, money do they have? Can they pile up pages and expands? No. No, they don't have enough for even all the expands. No. I'm you, so you have, confused by what you they're have doing. You have so much money that you can just pile why out. Would you, why and, would you... And they had the lead. They had a huge lead. So I'm, I mean, they, I'm confused they're... if you're not going for the pile out. Uh, State and Page? Wait, yeah, they had enough buys. Um, I think they had, they had nine at the end, and they had three more. Nine, that's twelve. Yeah. That would have worked. Twelve, um, let's see, wait, no, twelve, they, they were three, three dollars short for the pile out. They had twenty-one and twelve buys, but they needed twenty-four and twelve buys. Or wait. Yeah, so here they need to turn some warriors 22. into heroes so that they can turn some treasure hunters into, um, warriors. Yep. Which is a little bit of a weird thing to grasp if you haven't done that before. Uh, so here they can be expanding two colonies. Okay, wait, this colonies. is a win. This is a win. I mean, a bunch of things are wins here. Anything... Oh, yeah, just buying all of the estates in the page. No! No! You had a win! You had a win right there! I, mean, so I don't, what... don't want to call it trivial, but... It's pretty easy win to see. They could have even... That... 
they had enough of a lead that they could have bought the page and ten curses. And one like that. Yeah, that would be very stylish. The style so out. Thing, one thing that I think might not occur to players at this level, besides how good pilots are, is when you have a points lead, you can start milling uh, cards like Colony or Province with your remodel variants like Expand. So you can just turn Colony into Colony. And if you do that right, you can shut your opponent down from winning by just deleting the Colony pile. Yep. You have a nice point lead. You can make it so there's very hard for them to find enough points to come back. All right, so this... Doesn't look like they've done the exchanging warriors yeah. for heroes trick. So they still have all these dead treasure hunters. Okay, but this um, has got to be... When I'm talking about gain and playing stuff off barge and wharf, I mean using expand to turn a card into a card and then drawing it up and playing yeah, it. Yeah, because they have That's more what... draw than they need to draw their deck. They have overdraw. Yeah, they have... They have a so, ton of overdraw. So like right here, whatever card you're going to get, you probably want to be drawing it off the expands. So there's yep. very little reason to not be playing the expands first. All right, but the, this has the... to be a win. Okay. A few turns. And all a the bit, curses if they want. A bit late, yes. <laughs> but a bit late, but... Ugly. Nice. Lot pushing pages hard. Like, they, they, there could have been a few more things, but like that's more high level concepts like you know, gain and player like shuffle management. I don't think there's any well, like thing wrong with trying to teach players yeah. that. Well, no, I not think... that, but like shuffle management at least is a bit. No, I, I think I think people like it, the earlier they start understanding and seeing a mistake like that, the better. Yeah. Like, if you're not pointing that stuff out, you're not doing your job yeah. as a commentator. <laughs> okay. uh, so let's look at this board. We have Villages. We have Cursing. We have Coven. We have Trashing. We have Payload. We have only Scholar as draw. Okay. Scholar is the only draw that's going to be interesting. Yeah, so I think I want to do something with some Displaces and Scholars. Um, you know, Covens is virtual money and trying to play displaced games with farmland and province. I think, uh, I think that's getting good. Getting to Sentry seems extremely important, so I don't like Workshop open at all. I think I opened double silver on this Yeah, there's board. not there's not a lot of good Workshop targets. Like, you want... The villages don't do a ton. You don't need that many of them, and you can get them later. I want Sentry as soon as yeah, possible. Yeah, because you've absolutely got to thin, because... If you're drawing like, oh yes, um, but yeah. If you're drawing tons of junk. Well, the main thing is that to make a scholarly, displacey deck work, you need to be able to find those cards, and that's gonna be yeah. really hard here, uh, if you're not thinning with Sentry. I like DZE's approach, just to have five too. Yeah, that would really help. Sentry I like their ban like... list as well. It's just Knights Tournament and Keep. <laughs> Yep. Short and sweet. And then tags donate and smugglers disliked. Okay, so we both buy a workshop. I don't think workshop does a lot here for all the reasons we discussed. I can yeah. see adding one later. Like I feel like on late turns what I want to do is I want to like play a bunch of covens, play a village scholar to draw back up and then you know, do whatever displace things. Yeah. And like DZ said, you know, Coven is a good cursor here. So if you don't get deck control, you're in big trouble when those curses hit your deck. Yep, because you're just going to get flooded with curses. Yeah, and you, if you have deck control, you're going to give out a, a lot more curses than you take. So Coven in general also, is going to um, be better Bishop. for you. So we bought a village. We're workshopping for villages, but we don't have any terminals we need to play. I don't... It's way too early for that. And Bishop is just very bad thinning compared to Sentry because it gives your opponent a huge Free advantage. Free thinning. Yeah. So there's no reason to touch Bishop on this board, I think. Yeah. And not even the points, because sometimes you use Bishop for points, but here display seems like a much better strategy later on. Especially with the fact that Farmland and Province Yeah, Farmland are... back and forth. Yeah, you can just ping pong a farmland between being provinces and farmland, and that's worth eight points per iteration. Yep. 
once you get a couple of displaces, then you can maybe even do that, you know, a couple times. And your deck yeah, you can potentially is, build really big here. Your deck isn't even going to be um getting cluttered because displace puts it in exile. Yep. Yeah, you only need to have one stop card per like flip around that you're doing every time. So, so do you want to talk about why buying villages early is a bad idea? Sure. So like, you get villages so that you can play more action cards, but the thing is, if you don't have any like terminal cards that you want to play with your villages, then the villages are just a card that replaces itself in your hand. What we call a cantrip. Yep. Um. So and early in on, general... you just you want yeah. to get terminal cards first, and then get villages once you need them. Yeah, your early turns are really important in terms of what you achieve in like the first couple turns. So if all you're doing in your opening is adding a workshop and then using that so that you can get villages, you're giving up a huge amount of tempo in your early game to add cards that don't do a lot for your deck. Yeah, and like, yeah, Mountain Village is a bit different, but it's still the same concepts apply. Right, yeah, so... Mountain Village, oh, that's rough with Sentry. Yeah, they got the Sentry and two Covens already. Yeah, Aglet looks way ahead. Two Silvers, yeah, that's not the not a nice reveal. So yeah, and here... If that workshop were a silver, then Dr. Kayla could afford a sentry, but they're workshopping for a bishop. And Buying more villages. Trash the two silvers? I mean, actually, trashing them could have been good, because you already have covens for economy, and the silvers are just stop cards. Mm -hmm. So, you know, trashing silvers could have been a good play. Do you see that? That's a good point. So I have what's going to be able to get real thin here between their sentry and their opponent's bishops. The bishops are really helping Aglet. That's, you're helping your opponent a lot more than you're helping your own deck. So yeah. Yeah, and while Kayla's going to earn some points off of it, it's nothing that Aglet won't be able to um, easily outscore with a deck that has deck control. I mean, for one thing... Aglet's going to pump Kayla full of curses with those covens. Yep. The thing Kayla... about using Bishop to try to trash covens is one, I mean, to try to trash curses is one, it gives your opponents a free trash, but also you have to be able to draw those curses in the first place. Yep. Bishop's non drawing. And without, you know, deck control, you're going to be floundering a lot. Yep. Like maybe you can Again, use if this workshop village. was a silver, then something happens here. Mountain villages are almost piled. Um, another workshop, but you don't even want any of the sub fives. Yep, and you certainly don't need more villages. You you guys have plenty. And like, even if the BP lead from Bishop might initially appear big, the the positional advantage is a lot bigger if you have a thin deck and yep. you know yeah Aglet absolutely looks ahead so you can trash a workshop here it's done its yep. duty got you villages uh, come on I mean they're not going to yet I'm just suggesting they're, they're I mean they I just, feel like they're buying sometimes lower level players are reluctant to trash quote unquote good cards yep but sometimes cards are only good for a bit so here, one. if you do the whole multi-mountain village into scholar thing, your mountain villages miss the shuffle. So here's another example of shuffle management. But here's an example of gain and play right here. We get to gain a mountain village and then draw around to it. Nice. And more free trashing. How far are they willing to take this bishop deck? Because it's about to run out of food. You could like try to run a bishop conquest deck. Gold. Gold seems counter to this deck that really wants to be <laughs> repeat, drawing with Scholar. Repeat DC's message in chat. 
Jane Hill shakes their fist. Yeah, Jane Hill does not like gold buys. Oh, oh they're no. both buying gold. So well, here's the thing about it. gold. It's not a very good card. It's better than bad fives, but there's a bunch of good fives here, like Coven, Display, Scholar, and Sentry. One way to think of why it costs six is that it if this was a game where buying gold was the best decision a lot, it would be a very boring game. So it needs to be more expensive and worse than the five and six costs that are in the middle of the kingdom. It has to just be a sort of last resort thing. You don't have anything better and your deck can use money, so add the money. Money is yep. just a tool to get you to the good cards in the middle of the kingdom. And here's the coven dump. Eight curses. Yo. So they also, still have like another hand before they shuffle. Okay, but now that curses and mountain villages have piled... We've got two piles empty, so that might be something to watch out for. Yeah, but I mean, what's the third pile here? They don't have more. I mean, they have workshops. Workshops? Workshop could be no, the third no. Pile. I mean, workshop isn't the pile. I mean, they have workshops for gains, but like, not enough to do anything consistently. Yeah, I mean. What? Buying a silver seems, again, counterproductive. You want your deck to be thin here so that you can find your good cards. Yep. And now Covens are fancy silvers. Um, so Aglet really needs a Scholar. Yeah, the draw would be really, really helpful to them now. Okay, I, I do want another Displace, but I also want some draw. So those are no big deal. Aglet's got deck control, sentry, bishop, two curses isn't a huge deal for them. So I want to like trash silver and then maybe buy another scholar? No. Oh, gold. gold, okay. But Dr. Kalen now has an 8 VP lead. So I'm just... That's fine. Yeah. Aglet can start taking provinces whenever. Um, there's yeah, no real threat of a third pile. Once you get ready for, like, province, farmland, province, farmland, province, farmland, you're good. I mean, even if they don't see that and they just ping-pong between a gold and a province, that's still very valuable. Yep. With the golds, even, you can buy another gold, discard the gold from exile, and then displace yep. both of those again. See, you know, it's not plausible to have a third pile here. I mean, it's going to take a lot of work yeah, cause from Kayla. If They're Kayla... going to have to spend a bunch of turns buying bishops and workshopping bishops if they came in but, a three pile. Yeah, if Kayla just bought and workshopped workshops instead of focusing on like getting more bishops or golds or stuff like that, I mean, I think Kayla's deck could work if it was quite thin, um, which, uh, and was like, for instance, bishoping three go silvers a turn and then buying conquest. Yeah. I guess conquest only two silvers, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. only two, but it gives so maybe you a couple workshop of for, You workshop for an extra something else. And then you're actually talking about scoring a decent amount off bishop. I mean, DZ, I think Displace is very strong. Yeah, it's... Especially Displacing Victory cards. Because you get to keep the points and get something good. Alright, so... Yeah, so Kayla's plan of workshopping and buying up all the bishops to cause a three pile is looking very suspect here because they just simply don't have enough points. Yep. So here you can pick up the mountain village, 
or sorry, the province of Mountain Village and just place into a farmland and start playing that game if you want to score as much as possible. It uh, looks like they're probably going to displace a gold. Yep. And then so buy good. a gold to pop it out of exile. Um, so it's good they understand how displace works. Just a slightly more advanced usage of it is you can do the same trick with farmland, because but because it's a VP card, you get uh, two you, more you, points. Yeah, you're just scoring time. more. All right, bishop gold, bishop bishop. Now I want. I mean, you need to bishop a gold here. You you very much oh, need points. Oh, why they? Um. They should have bishoped the gold because the, you don't need five. You just need four to get another bishop. But they're gonna buy a duchy. Oh no. <laughs> or a displace. What? I like displace, okay. but it's about ten it's, turns too yeah. late. It's a bit too late to totally switch to that, and yeah, Aglet has more displacing. Oh, this is a double sweet double props. province turn. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, this now place Aglet isn't has secured, secured their victory. I mean, they're not at half VP yet, but they're getting there. Yeah, but they have just a lot more control over their deck, so... Yep. Yeah. So again, playing all these mountain villages does mean that a bunch of them are going to miss the shuffle, assuming that you end up drawing after the Scholar. If you don't draw after you play the Scholar, then it's totally fine. So here you, you gotta take the displace. I guess you could take a bishop. No, you already have. Yeah. I, I mean. Well, you're gonna. Bishop the curse, displace the gold, then play scholar. Yep. And I mean, this could be a win still. Like, if they can gain another yeah, two provinces this turn. With but they don't... somehow, even though they have one displace. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's gonna displace. be tricky. And doubling does not, or singling doesn't feel very safe when your opponent's deck is doing a lot of things. Yeah, like, Aglet but... can, um... Kind of Aglet... like workshopping for silver here and then conquesting. Oh, they're going for the last province. Okay, so oh. they're putting it all on the line here. Okay, but uh... Aglet only has the one mountain village, so that needs to be a scholar to draw up. They or don't have a scholar. Village. They don't have a scholar. Oh. oh, oh, right. If only they did. Draw cards are important. Um, so right now, now, Kayla can play a... Uh, I wouldn't trash that copper. It just doesn't matter anymore. Uh, you have to hit eight here. All right, now bishop silver... Or bishop gold. Bishop think, gold. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna, drawing through. Actually, no, you don't want to play the bishop. You need to play the scholar. Oh, right. Points don't matter. You need to hit eight. Yeah, hit eight. Oh, yeah, because you... Winning. Yeah. Winning is good. You just... In... Okay, now you can mountain village mountain for gold and displace gold. it. Oh, yep, the gamble. That's a win. The penultimate province gamble paid off. Yeah. All right, win in yeah. hand. Yep. Let's... Kayla with... Suspect strategy that pulled through. Yeah, I mean, scored mostly off bishops. Um, interesting. Dealt interesting. with the coven dump. No? Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Please. Please don't mess this up. Here we go. Yes! Here we go. Yes! yes! <laughs> Woohoo! So, I mean, I still do think the deck that thins faster and plays with displace, yeah. a couple displaces and some but scholars would, didn't get would any be draw. very winning. Correct. Aglet didn't get draw. Yeah. And draw is really good. Oh, DC, um, didn't someone play the, a displace butcher match one time? There's probably been a judgment match, yeah. Yep. Okay, five minute break. I'm gonna go feed my dogs. Alright, I'll do this recording in two parts. Start again once we get back. <laughs>